WCAT TV, the student produced production that has been award winning for multiple years. Starts now. Good morning, Gray Latro from the WCAT TV studios. I'm your host, Luke Hamity. The first meeting for Science Olympiad will be held Wildcat time on Thursday, November 18th in room S201. All interested students should attend. The Physics Club will hold its first meeting of the year on Thursday, November 18th during the first half of Lunch and Learn in the Planetarium. Join us for a magical demonstration and then see the physics behind the curtain. Chick-fil-A Leader Academy members are reminded for their next mandatory meeting will be held on Monday, November 22nd during all lunch and learn in the CSC. Please bring your lunch with you to the meeting. Email Mrs. Koss prior to the meeting with questions. The Wildcat score is excited to announce its inaugural calendar photography contest that will showcase the artistic skills and abilities within the borders of the Great Latrobe School District. Entries for the contest are now accepted through November 30th and the contest is opening to having any, a connection to a current or former GLST student. All photos must be taken within the Gray Latrobe School District. The official rules and entry forms are posted on wildcatscore.glsd.us. The 13 winners will receive a $25 prize and a free calendar which will be sold in, and online in January. We go to Abby Williams for the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today we'll have a high of 64 degrees and a low of 36 with partly cloudy skies. Thursday we will see a 90% chance of rain with a high of 58 and a low of 34. For Friday's forecast, we will have partly cloudy skies with a high of 39 and a cool low of 28 degrees. That's all for the weather. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Abby. Attention current juniors. The Pennsylvania Department of Education is pleased to announce that the Pennsylvania Government School for Sciences at Carnegie Mellon University is now accepting applications from talented high school juniors for the summer 2022 program. This is an intense five-week summer residential program that emphasizes cooperation, learning, and hands-on laboratory research for high school juniors pursuing careers in science and mathematics. The program offers an enrichment experience in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Accepted applicants will receive a full scholarship to the program. For more details, including dates and application, please see Mrs. Hager in the guidance office. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Sydney Laidlacker with What's Cooking. With Cooking Laidlacker, it's Monday, November 17th, and cooking up in the main line, we have scrambled eggs with waffles and strawberry toppings, a side of potato gems. The sandwich options for today are hamburger, cheeseburger, or chicken patty. The pizza options for today are homemade cheese and pepperoni pizza, and in the grab-and-go bar we have fresh salad, deli hoagies, and sweet corn. The soup of the day is chicken and dumpling. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Sydney. We will be back after these messages. Ninth through 12th grade students interested in trying out for the girls across team in the spring are asked to sign up in the athletic office. More information will follow at a later date regarding preseason information and meetings. Avedum's got your back this winter. Avedum is encouraging students to donate clean, slightly used winter jackets, gloves, mittens, hats, and blankets. Students can drop off any of these items in the boxes in the Commons area now through December 31st. If any questions, please drop to Mrs. Ryder in the guidance office. Now through Thursday, November 18th, the Student Council is asking each classroom to donate non-perishable food items for the Thanksgiving Basket Service Project. Each teacher has received a list of items needed to supply a Greater Latrobe family in need with the Thanksgiving meal. Please take this opportunity to help those around you. For less than $2, you can help give a local family a special meal. Food items will be collected until Thursday, November 18th. Thank you for your generosity. Each year, nearly 40 families have been able to receive food baskets for both Thanksgiving and Christmas through this project. So Pep Club decided to bring back an old elementary tradition from Mountain View where students would play against the teachers in a volleyball tournament. We wanted a way for students and faculty to get involved and also help out with a good cause with the food drive this season. Any student in grades 9 through 12 may enter. You can enter up to two other students with you if you wish. 
students must turn in at least one non-perishable food item or an item on the Thanksgiving basket list to play. If you wish to play, items must be donated by November 17th to Mrs. Fry, Mr. Marker, or Mrs. Howe. Students will be playing during lunch and learn on the days leading up to the half day. On the half day, the winning 9th grade team will play against the winning 10th through 12th grade team, and the winner from that will play the teacher team on the half day. If you have any questions, reach out to Mrs. Fry in A4 in the junior high. Senior t-shirt orders are now being taken online through the end of November. The cost is $15 per shirt. Visit the student store website at wildcatstore.glsd.us to see the shirt and to place your order. Or check your email for more information. Only a limited number of shirts will be available for purchase in January and beyond, so be sure to pre-order now. We now go to Ben Hamity with Wildcat Sports Report. Hey Latrobe, in national sports news, there will be 11 games in the NBA tonight, as the Lakers will head to Fizzard Forum to play the Bucks at 7.30 p.m. Also, the Mavericks and Suns will play in Phoenix at 10 p.m. Over to the NHL, there will be three games showcased in the NHL tonight. Marc-Andre Fleury and the Blackhawks will head to Key Bank Arena to play Brandon Tanev in the Kraken at 10 p.m. Lastly, in MLB news, former Cleveland Indians have gained the right to officially change their name to the Cleveland Guardians next season. They made it official after settling a lawsuit with a local roller derby squad with the same name earlier this week. That's all for sports. Back to you. Thanks, Ben. If you're interested in working as a lifeguard in Myrtle Beach this summer, Lax Beach Service is having a table during Lunch and Learn 2 on Friday, November 19th. You must be 18 years old to apply. Visit laxbeachservice.com for more information. Now here's Harley Cochran with Wildcat World News. Good morning, Wildcats. In world news, on Sunday, UK counterterrorism officers arrested three men after a car explosion outside of a Liverpool hospital. A fast-spreading bird flu has caught the attention of epidemiologists in Europe and Asia as the avian influenza can be spread to humans. The poultry industry is on high alert after previous outbreaks. Finally, on Monday morning, astronauts in the International Space Station were advised to take shelter in space capsules after a cloud of debris was projected to pass near the post. That's all for World News. Now here's Alexis Knoll with Community News. Thanks, Harley. In Community News, the 27th annual Turkey Trot is just around the corner. Although pre-registration for the race has ended, you can still register on the day of the race for $25. If you are registering on the day of the race, registration starts at 7.30 a.m. at Memorial Stadium. For the actual race, runners will start at 9 a.m. and the walkers, walkers will be starting at 9 to 2 a.m. That's all from Community News. Thanks and back to you. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Late Trib.